Okay, hey students, so this group we're going to be going over an example on arithmetic sequences. So let's go ahead and write down the instruction for the example. So uh, for the given sequence, for the given sequence, we're going to do the following. So A, you're going to, um, we're going to Classify it as arithmetic or geometric. So classify, classify it as arithmetic or geometric. Next, you're going to describe the growth rate. Describe the growth rate. And then, last, and then uh, next, you're going to find the next four terms. Next, you're going to um, find an explicit formula. Find an explicit formula for uh, the nth term and verify your results in C, verify your results in C. And last but not the least, you are going to find the 50th term. In case of find the 50th term. Okay. Now Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the first uh, piece, which is part A, but the series, the sequence under consideration is 3, comma, 9, comma, 15, comma, da, da, da. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at the sequence. A, is this arithmetic or geometric? Arithmetic sequences uh, involve a common difference, you constantly add, whereas geometric sequences involves a multiplicative relationship. That is, you multiply by the same number to generate the subsequent terms of the sequence. So let's verify to see if this is a geometric sequence first. So we have 3, 9, and 15. Is a growth is it multiplicative or additive? So let's see if, assume it was a geometric or multiplicative relationship. So to go from 3 to 9, what do we do? We multiply by 3. Okay? So in order to get the next term, if this were a, a geometric series, I must multiply by the same constant number to generate the next term. So if I multiply 9 by 3, do I get 15? Absolutely not. I get 27. Hence, this is not a geometric sequence because you don't multiply by a constant number. All right, let's test to see if it's an arithmetic sequence or basically if the growth is additive. So from 3 to 9, what do I add from to 3 to get to 9? From 3 to 9, I add 6, right? And then from 9, in order to generate the next term, I, might, I must add the same number. So if I add 6 to 9, what do I get? I get 15. Since adding the same number yields the correct terms in the sequence. This is, in fact, an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so this is an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence because the growth uh, because you have an additive relationship. Okay, um, since we have an additive relationship. All right, you keep adding the same common number. So the question now for the B part is, let's describe what the growth rate is. Uh, what term does it grow? In this case, uh, since it's uh, arithmetic, we're going to be looking for something called the common difference. The common difference um, is the letter is represented with the letter D, which is A2 minus A1 or A3 minus A2, or a term subtracted from a subsequent term. So if we look at this, this is A1, this is A2. So the second term is 9 minus the first term, which is 3, which is equal to 6. 
okay? So basically, the, the growth rate is you add six every time. Add six every time. That's how you generate the subsequent ter terms of this uh, geomet I mean arithmetic sequence. All right, C part. Find the next four terms, all right? So we know that A1, the first term is three. The second term, A2, is nine because you just simply add six to uh, three, but we already know it's nine there, so we can just write nine. A3 is 15. So what is the next term gonna be? A4, the fourth term, is going to be 15 uh, plus the common difference, which is six, 15 plus six. 15 plus 6 is um, 20, uh, 21. And then next, we need to find the fifth and the sixth term. A5 is going to be 21, the previous term, plus the common difference, plus 6, which equals 27. And then A6 is 27, plus the next term, plus the common difference, sorry, uh, 27 plus six is equal to 33 okay so uh the, these are the next three terms of our arithmetic sequence so we have uh the sequence that we had earlier the sequence we had earlier um is three comma nine comma fifteen so the next three are simply going to be based on what we have 21 27 and 33 okay all right, now let's move on to the D part where to find an explicit formula. So to, for the nth term. So to find the formula for the nth term, the nth term is basically equal to A sub N and the formula for A sub N is A1 plus N minus one times the common difference D. All right? Okay, so let's write down, list all the variables that we know and need. So A1 is the first term. And we know that that is three. That's the first term of the uh, arithmetic sequence. And then n is the number of terms. Since we're looking for the nth term, n will remain as n. The common difference, we already determined that. What you keep adding every time, the common difference uh, in this problem is six. And then a n is the nth term, which is what we are asked to find. Is That also stays as a n, okay? Now we piece all, put all this information into this formula that will help us determine what the nth term is. So a n equals the first term, a1, three, plus n minus one times the common difference, which is six. Okay, this is the explicit formula in the form that's not reduced, but we need to find the reduced form. So to find the reduced form, we just simplify this using the algebraic uh, tools, okay? So we just distribute the six to the one, negative one and the nine and the n. So we have a n equals three plus six n minus six. Now we can combine the constants uh, six and three, and then we're gonna have a n equals six n minus three. Okay, so this is your explicit formula for generating the terms of the uh, sequence. So we are asked to verify our results in C. In C, we found A4, A5, and A6. So let's see if the results that we get for this match what we got for C, okay? All right, so using the explicit formula, let me write it on the side here. So I'm gonna to type to this verification. Verification. All right, so we have, I'm gonna verify A4. So for A5, I'm gonna plug in four into the formula. A4 is gonna be six times four minus three. The question is, are we going to get 21? Okay, because that this is A4 right here, that we got, this is A4, A5, and A6. Okay, so let's simplify this. This equals 24 minus three, 24 minus three is 21. So that checks out. And let's test the next one, A5. That basically means we'll plug in five into the explicit formula we just got, six times five, Minus three, do we get 27? Six times five is 30. Minus three equals 27. That checks out also. And then the sixth term, A6, equals uh, six times six minus three. Do we get 33 as a result? 
So 6 times 6 is 36, minus 3 equals 33. Absolutely right. So we're looking at good here. Okay, so the 3 works. Work with what we got before. So we're confident that our explicit formula is in fact accurate. Okay, now let's move on to the E part. The last part, we're supposed to find the 50th term. Okay, so the 50th term, 50th term, is basically the same thing as a sub 50. Okay, so how do we find a sub 50? We know that a sub n in the, uh, the explicit formula is 6n minus 3. So a sub 50 just involves substituting n with 50 in both sides of the equation. So a sub 50 just simply means the 50th term equals 6 times 50 minus 3. Okay? Let's work this out. We have 6 times 50 is 300 minus 3 is equal to 297. Okay, so um, a sub 50 is 297. So you see the 50th term. The 50th term, which is a sub 50, is equal to 297. All right, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here, and you can click like if you like uh, this video. Please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on matgoserve.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.